Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here at the beautiful Junalut Resort and in this video I'm going to be helping those of you who tend to drag the handle through impact. If you don't have enough speed this is going to make it really challenging to get height and get distance. Let's get into it. Now in modern golf instruction, there's an obsession with getting shaft lean. Shaft lean being when at the moment of impact, the handle is in front of the club head. Now if you were to freeze frame a lot of professionals at this moment, they indeed would have that handle in front of the club head. However, these guys are the best in the world. They create plenty of speed and therefore a combination of that speed and the de-lofting of that golf club still allows them to get maximum distance and maximum efficiency out of what they're trying to do. And therefore, they can afford to have severe amounts of shaft lean. Now, generally, what you will see is the players with more speed will tend to even have more shaft lean. If you think about someone like a Dustin Johnson or someone similar, well, they would tend to create both a lot of power and also get that handle leaning forward. Combination of both just gives them a lot more distance. Now, for the average recreational golfer, looking at these PGA Tour players, and there's a lot of instruction out there as well, which is helping players trying to achieve this look. A lot of them are trying to rehearse and practice drills where they're excessively trying to get that handle in front of the club head. However, if you do it in the incorrect way and you don't have enough speed, it's gonna make it really challenging to get enough height and get enough distance. Now, one of the true fundamentals of golf is speed. And if you don't have quite the amount of speed that a PGA Tour player does, well, you do not need to lean the shaft as forward as a PGA Tour player does. And this is a very important concept to understand because when you're just looking at swings on Instagram and YouTube, sometimes we see these beautiful aesthetics of a real strong impact position and then we go back home and then try and change them. But if our bodies are not the same and we're not as capable to create as much power, well, effectively, that is going to hinder our progress rather than help. So if you fall into this category and say that you don't create as much speed as a PGA Tour player, what do we need to look to achieve? Well, there's varying levels of how much shaft lean we need. So for example, if I set up to this grass here, if I have a lot of speed, I could afford, if this was an impact, to have a lot more shaft lean than the next player. Now, height is a product of speed and loft. So if we don't have loft, and we don't have speed, the ball's not gonna get very high. There's a lot less friction up in the air than there is on the ground. So if you're a player with a slower swing speed, we need to increase the height of your golf shots. And having this handle leaning considerably far forward, even though it might look nice, it's not gonna give us the results that we're looking. So if you're someone who is in this position and you are leaning that shaft too far forward, you're not getting enough height, and you really feel like you're missing out on some extra distance, you might fall in the category of where you need to get the shaft and the handle a little bit more vertical at impact. And that's totally fine. Now in saying this, there is a large majority of players out there who struggle with the opposite, and that would be a scooping, or when the club head is actually passing the handle too much in impact. So if you're a player like this, please, please, please do not practice this exercise. This is for more of those of you who have been told by a PGA professional, or you can video your swing, you have a very keen eye for detail, and you can actually see that the handle is too far forward of the head at impact. And I'm gonna give you a little reference for that. Now, if it was too far forward, what you would tend to see would be the handle almost outside that lead hip at the moment of impact. When you see the effect that that's gonna to have to the loft of the face, well, that's going to severely decrease this loft. So this seven iron turns into something like a five iron and a four iron. Now those clubs themselves don't get much height at all. So making sure that you're accommodating for the club with the amount of shaft lean is gonna give you the optimal trajectory and distance that you're looking for. So if you're a slower swing speed golfer, what I would tend to look for is the handle just slightly ahead of the club head. So I would be looking to have those hands as they're approaching the golf ball, just forward. And if you had a little reference point of the end of the grip and the handle, I would be looking, if this is vertical, just leaning slightly further forward of that. So as your body is turning and rotating in space, we would be looking to have the handle just about on the inside of the lead leg as that club's approaching the ball. Now, if you look at the effect on loft that that would have, as the golf club's coming in, if my shaft was leaning too far forward, it would look like this. But if I was to decrease the amount of shaft lean, all of a sudden, 
we are adding loft to the golf club and therefore as a combination of whatever speed you hit it, this is going to launch the ball a lot higher. So if you are struggling with that distance, getting this shaft a little bit more vertical can certainly help you get a few extra yards. Now one of the main reasons that players get into this situation is mainly because they've been trying to hit down on the golf ball a lot or they've been told to get the handle in front and usually it's a manufactured position that they've achieved over a period of time with maybe a poor understanding or poor practice. But to get out of it, it's pretty simple. There's two main drills I want you to practice. The first one is hitting shots with your feet together. Now, with your feet together, effectively what this encourages you to do is line the handle and the club head back up at impact. If you were to drag the handle too far forward, effectively that would pull your body towards the target and you would lose balance. So without a golf ball, if you set up to the ground, you would have the club head and the handle in line at address and then have some practice swings just brushing the ground with your feet together, you'll really start to feel that club head come underneath the handle if you were to stay in balance. If you were to do the opposite and you were to drag the handle, you would tend to feel like it's gonna pull you forward. Now transitioning into full shots out of the feet together drill, one of my favorite exercises to do is get a tee and place it underneath your lead arm. Now in this position here, if you were tending to drag the handle too much, that T would tend to fall out because your front arm would separate from your torso. As you can see, the handle's too far ahead of the head of the golf club. So if I get that T, put it back underneath my lead arm, and then I make some practice swings, feeling like that T is staying in place underneath that armpit, you can see on the way through that my arms are refolding as they move around my body. And this is a great way of also, as this golf club's coming back to the ball, of lining that handle and that head up. Now this is certainly not a drill for everyone. Like I said, if you're a scooper, you almost need to practice or rehearse the opposite. But I've got some videos that you can watch that are definitely gonna help if you're struggling with that specific error. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. This is all about those of you who tend to drag the handle too much, giving you two great exercises, one with your feet together, making some swings and brushing the ground, the other placing a T under your arm and making some swings and feel that your arms are refolding, keeping that pinned on the way through. So once again, please like this video, go down below, press subscribe, press that little bell so you get notified of any upcoming videos just like this. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.